All right, the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has been benchmarked on Geekbench and there are some interesting things we got to know via this benchmark result. Before talking about this benchmark result, it is worth mentioning that back in June this year we got to know some specifications of this chipset that included a unique 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 CPU configuration. For comparison, the current Qualcomm flagship chipsets have a 1 plus 3 plus 4 CPU configuration. In case you don't know what that means, it means the current Qualcomm flagships have a CPU with 1 prime CPU core, 3 middle CPU cores and 4 power efficient CPU cores. Coming to the Geekbench benchmark, the phone used for this benchmark is from Samsung and has the model number SM. S911U. Now this should be one of the phones under the Galaxy S23 series of next year and since this benchmark result shows 8GB of RAM, it is quite likely that this is the vanilla Galaxy S23. Also the U in the name means that this is the US version of the Galaxy S23. Now Geekmatch did not show the 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 configuration as reported earlier, but rather an odd 1 plus 4 plus 3 configuration. We did get to know the clock speeds however, so as you can see the one prime CPU core of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is clocked up to 3.36 GHz. This is most likely the Cortex-X3 which delivers up to 25% better performance than the Cortex-X2. Then there are 4 middle cores clocked at 2.8 GHz which is quite odd. It is also possible that Geekbench misread the two Cortex A710 and two Cortex A715 cores as a single cluster. The Cortex A715 is 20% more power efficient and 5% faster than the Cortex A710. And finally there are three power efficient cores clocked at 2.02 GHz and these are the Cortex A510 cores. The GPU is Adreno 740 which is an upgrade over the Adreno 730 GPU of this year's Qualcomm flagships. Finally talking about the benchmark scores, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 scored around 1500 points on single core and around 4600 points on multi core. In comparison, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 scores around 1300 to 1400 points on single core and around 4200 points on multi-core. So there is definitely a noticeable improvement in performance. There are also reports that in this benchmark, the prime Cortex X3 core did not go past 3 GHz, while the max clock speed of this core is 3.36 GHz. If that is the case, then this means the benchmark score of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 should be even higher than what this benchmark result shows. Apart from the performance, the TSMC's second generation 4 nanometer processor should offer better power efficiency than this year's Qualcomm chipsets. Well, in the end, I also want to mention that Geekbench results can be fake, so you should take this all with a pinch of salt. Anyways, that is all about this video and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.